On to the story now, 100,000 rand, that's how much one of the accused in the Senzo Meiwa murder trial says his then-girlfriend, Kelly Kumalo, allegedly offered to kill him. This week, the court heard of an alleged assassination plot on the soccer star's life contained in confessions by accused number one and two. The confessions by Mozisi Bia and Bongan in Danzi were ruled admissible following a five-month-long trial within a trial. Ian says Mangobam Kunu has more. Assault claims by Moses Sibia and Boran Intanzi again took center stage as the trial within a trial reached its conclusion. Sibia and Tanzi both maintained they never made confessions willingly, but were forced into signing already prepared statements. The statement was not obtained freely and voluntarily since the accused person, accused number one, was assaulted by the police officers who investigated this case. He was threatened with further assaults that should he sign, should, should he not sign the pre-prepared statement that was handed to him at the proof by uh, Colonel Mboto, then further assaults will be perpetrated on him. The defense argued that CBN and Danzi were tortured by police on several occasions. In total, accused two was in the hands of police officers in handcuffs, deprived of sleep, uh, dis uh, deprived of comfort because he says at some stage water was poured on him. When he went back to the cells, he couldn't sleep because it was very cold on the night in question. And shortly thereafter, he's woken up to be taken to uh, first floor rest. That, my lot we submit, it's perpetuation of torture. But the court wasn't convinced. This court has reached the following conclusion. One, it rules that the confession made by accused number one was made freely and voluntarily without any coercion when accused number one was in his firm, sound and sober senses. Two, the confession made by accused number two in respect of the said confession being taken by Mrs. Ronje, the magistrate, the court rules that it was made freely and voluntarily. And this meant the confessions were now admitted as evidence in the main trial. The state wasted no time calling its first witness to the stand. Colonel Solomon Rapadu, who took down Tanzi's first confession, revealed its contents. During mid-October 2014, I received a call from a friend, Mtoko Sizen, who was with my pizza. He informed me about an agent work that needs to be done and they need my assistance. Central to the alleged confession, the revelation of a sinister plot implicating Mayu's then girlfriend Kelly Kumalo in a contract killing targeting Kim. I was briefed that the person to be eliminated or killed was Senzo Meiwa. And the matter is initiated by Kelly Kumalo, who was going to make a payment for the whole job. We were positioned accordingly that Nkani will be the driver, Moses Sevilla will be the guard, and myself and Carlos will get inside Kelly's house. Ndanzen accused three allegedly went inside the house, his statement also revealing how Meiwa was shot. When we entered the house, Carlos shouted in Zulu, Pans, in Mali, ne my cell phone. I started collecting cell phones and cash that was in the container. While I was still busy, Senzo jumped to Carlos and the struggle ensued where one shot went off and the second shot hit Senzo as the fire was pointed at his. Chest. On the other hand, CBS statement also mentioned the robbery and Kumalo as the mastermind, but the role players were different. On 2014, between September and October, it was Sabato, in bracket, which is Saturday. My friend, Makom Utelizu, and Makimba Utelizu entered the house and demanded cell phone 
and they shot the now deceased. Sibia claims he was paid 30,000 rand for the job, while Ndanzi claims he was paid 45,000 rand by accused five Fisogu Sinduli. Sibia's statement also revealed how much Kumalo was allegedly charged for the hit. I asked them if they already charged the money, and they said yes. They charged 100,000, both Marco and Makima charged for the killing. More details of how the alleged assassination was executed will be heard as the magistrate and more police officers who took down the statements are expected on the stand. Mangwabam Kunu, Pretoria.